What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. Earthmaster back here uh, on this Tuesday afternoon here, September 19, 2023. Just a quick update on the earthquake out there around New Zealand coming in here within the last half an hour or so. South Island, uh, is that Methven? It looks like New Zealand. 5.6, 11 kilometers deep. This earthquake coming in from the USGS. Also, the EMSC reporting this uh, earthquake as well. And there is a 5.7, about 36 kilometers deep. We have been waiting for some movement to kick up in the New Zealand area. Um, and this may not be it. This may be just a little bit of a, of a taste of what could be coming here soon. Uh, it has been awfully quiet across this area, the Tonga Trench, Kermadec Trench, and New Zealand. Uh, but this is probably one of the more larger quakes that uh, this area has seen in a little while. Uh, but I still think uh, we're expecting a little bit further larger movement. But either way, 5.6 coming in, South Island area. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the GeoNet servers here real quick and see what we got. These guys reporting it as a 6.2. Now, I don't understand the, the differences here in the level of magnitudes there. That's quite a... An increase right from a 5.6 that USGS is stating uh, and it has been reviewed by a seismologist there with the USGS compared to the 6.2 that uh, EMSC is reporting as a strong earthquake it is underneath preliminary data so these are just this is their computer system putting out this data uh, right now but it looks like uh, it definitely looks like this earthquake was felt pretty broadly over the area around New Zealand uh, looks like some moderate to even some strong shaking centered here uh, in the area on the map um, Christchurch is Let's see right up here. These these folks even felt it looks like some light to moderate shaking being reported over there uh, the epicenter again looks like it was uh, a ways away here I'm not for sure what the population density specifically is out in this area it looks kind of mountainous um, around some rivers but of course we know right the plate boundary sits right here this activity is off the plate boundary uh, so that could definitely be a good indicator there is some major strain about ready to uh, uh, be produced off of the plate boundary itself uh, now again uh, looks like 11 kilometers deep a few folks reported to the USGS but of course most of that through the uh, GeoNet servers here um, so expect uh, definitely expect some more aftershocks, potentially some further movement. Uh, take your pick on which magnitude you want, 6.2, which again is preliminary, or the uh, 5.6 that the USGS has reported there. Total of uh, 14,000 reports coming in from that. That's crazy. Quite crazy. Uh, looks like, uh, what do we got here? magnitude history magnitude history for this event um, let's see what we got else here kind of curious to see what that looks like on the earthquake drums I'm sure it's spectacular looking look at that now that's what we're talking about when we look for a seismic signature showing up all across the area it's almost a guaranteed for that size of a magnitude and of course, the closer you get down here um, to the South Island area, the more prominent it's going to be. But I would expect uh, to see some aftershock activity. Looks like there is some occurring here. Very close to this station here called, uh, is that Rata? Or Rata Peaks? Rata? Uh, which looks like it's somewhat centered around that location of that five-pointer. Um, whether it's a six-pointer or not, that I'll leave up to the... Um, I'll leave up to the professionals. It could get revised. Um, I didn't get to see this signature though when it specifically came into the seismograph. Um, but yeah, uh, it's definitely uh, up there in the mid fives, if not slightly larger, uh, at least looking at these graphs here. But again, if it gets updated, it will be so um, after further review possibly. But if uh, you did feel this earthquake there in New Zealand, let me know. Uh, either way, expect uh, potentially some further movement uh, quakes down there. Uh, I've been kind of chatting about this for a little while, so I'm watch New Zealand. Uh, I do want to look at uh, magnitudes here. We're going to go 5.0 and above and see what we have for uh, earthquake activity 
in the New Zealand area just in the last uh, year. Just in the last year. I want to look at that real quick. I'm, obviously, you know, New Zealand does and has had some, uh, some large earthquake activity out there. But it's been quiet while all the other areas around this plate boundary have been active. We've seen intraplate earthquakes over here between Australia and New Zealand in the past couple weeks uh, that are a little odd. But that's obviously some strain building out here specifically along this plate boundary that New Zealand sits on, literally. So here's a 5.5 map, or a, I pulled up 5.0 and above just in the last year. Uh, South Island really hasn't had anything, and that's kind of the main one right here that everyone's always talking about. You know, aside from the Hikurangi subduction zone up here, the Alpine fault system, and many other faults across South Island, um, are, I think they're overdue. I mean, from what I hear, there's quite a few overdue ones there in, in uh, New Zealand. So this looks like at least the largest earthquake here in the South Island area in the last year. Um, there was nothing below this. I mean, obviously some smaller quakes, but nothing above 5.0 uh, for the South Island area. Of course, we did have some further activity um, up north outside of the, um, well, the Cook Strait area. This was a one back in uh, February. I remember this one when it came in, the 5.7. So just a heads up, folks, you know, just making these, uh, these observations here. Uh, here's even the last 30 days of activity, right? All magnitudes. Now, there is some smaller quakes out here that have been produced there across New Zealand, but, uh, you know, pretty much 4.0 and above has not happened in here in, in quite a while across this plate boundary. Uh, well, 5.6 now, but uh, still, I, I think this is overdue. It's too quiet. This map is too quiet, and it has been here for a little while across that area. Right? If you look at the map here, this is along a major plate boundary. And everything around it has been moving. Uh, we even seen quite a few quakes here over the past few months down along the uh, South Pacific Ocean here at the uh, plate boundary. With uh, just, you know, New Zealand sitting there quiet and pretty. And just just be prepared, folks. Expect more earthquakes potentially here. Um, hopefully it's not a foreshock. I do have a uh, New Zealand station keyed up right here. I'm sure you guys seen that pull up pretty nicely. Uh, we'll be watching this and covering it. Of course, our mod, Timothy here, um, also channel member, is uh, around that area. Not for sure if uh, if he felt it or not. Let me check live stream here. Uh, all right, anyway, I'm going to jump off here. Um, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. The best thing to do is just stay prepared, be safe, have an earthquake plan. Uh, and um, yeah, we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on.